Schizophrenia is a disorder that affects how people act, think, and perceive reality. It is often very difficult to treat because it has many different causes and symptoms. In a study published last month in Cell Reports Medicine, researchers from Tokyo Medical and Dental University, TMDU, have identified an autoantibody, a protein that is produced by the immune system to attach to a specific substance from the individual's own body, rather than to a foreign substance. When considering possible autoantibodies that might cause schizophrenia, the research team had a specific protein in mind. Previous research has suggested that neural cell adhesion molecule, NCAM1, which helps cells in the brain talk to one another via specialized connections known as synapses, may have a role in the development of schizophrenia. We decided to look for autoantibodies against NCAM1 in around 200 healthy controls and 200 patients with schizophrenia, explains lead author of the study Hiroki Shiwaku. We only found these autoantibodies in 12 patients, suggesting that they may be associated with the disorder in just a small subset of schizophrenia cases. The research team didn't stop there. They wanted to know whether these autoantibodies could cause any changes that commonly occur in schizoph. The results were impressive, says Hidehiko Takahashi, senior author. Even though the mice only had these autoantibodies in their brains for a short time, they had changes in their behavior and synapses that were similar to what is seen in humans with schizophrenia. Specifically, mice with the patient autoantibodies had cognitive impairment and changes in their reg. Given that schizophrenia can present very differently among patients and is often resistant to treatment, the results of this study are promising. If schizophrenia is indeed caused by autoantibodies against NCAM1 in some patients, this will lead to important improvements in their diagnosis and treatment. Make a difference. Sponsored opportunity story source. Materials provided by Tokyo Medical and Dental University. Note. Content may be edited for style and length. Journal reference. Hiroki Shiwaku, Shingo Katayama, Kano Kondo, Yuri Nakano, Hikari Tanaka, Yuki Yoshioka, Kyoto Fujita, Haruna Tamaki, Hironao Takebayashi, Omi Terasaki, Yukihiro Nagase, Teruyoshi Nagase, Tetsuo Kubota, Kenya Ishikawa, Hitoshi Okazawa, Hidehiko Takahashi. Autoantibodies against NCAM1 from patients with schizophrenia cause schizophrenia-related behavior and changes in synapses in mice. Cell Reports Medicine, 2022. 3, 4, 100,597 doi. 10. 1016, J. XCRM. 2022. 100,597 Cite this page. Tokyo Medical and Dental University. Body versus Brain. New Evidence for an Autoimmune Cause of Schizophrenia. Science Daily. Science Daily, 6 June 2022. Tokyo Medical and Dental University. 2022, June 6. Body versus Brain. New Evidence for an Autoimmune Cause of Schizophrenia. Science Daily. Retrieved June 6, 2022 from ift.tt slash 8 arbu 4 Tokyo Medical and Dental University. Body vs. Brain. New evidence for an autoimmune cause of schizophrenia. Science Daily. ift.tt slash 8 arbu 4 Accessed June 6, 2022. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more videos.